Hey Internet, Justin from Darkside Records here, located at 611 Duchess Turnpike in Poughkeepsie, or on the web at darksiderecords.com. Today we are here to show you the Audio-Technica LP3. We're going to open this thing up, show you what's inside, and show you how to set it up. So, here it is. Let's start with the big one. We've got the turntable itself. This is the LP3. You've got your manual instructions, hang on to that. Your power cord, 45 RPM adapter, head shell and cartridge, along with your counterweight. Important note, all these little components come wrapped in plastic and are tucked in to the styrofoam inside the packaging. So don't throw it away, because that would be bad. We've got your platter. And then just behind the platter here, we've got a turntable mat and, of course, the dust cover, which keeps all the dust and grime and dirty, disgusting people out of your precious record collection. So let's start with putting the platter on the center spindle here. You can see that the belt for the turntable, this is a belt drive table, comes pre-attached to the platter. Just go ahead, set that right on the center spindle. The first thing you want to do is line up this hole here with the brass pulley on top of the motor. Go ahead and peel this tape off the ribbon. The ribbon is there to actually help you stretch the belt over the pulley. So just grab the ribbon, pull it over, and slip the ribbon right off. Make sure the belt isn't twisted nice and straight so it rides flat all the way around the platter. Voila. Voila? Voila. Next up is the turntable mat. The LP3 comes with this nice 4 mil rubber mat, but we got our own ideas about what to do with this. Let's go with this here Dark Side Records cork mat. Cork mat available. DarksideRecords.com. So set that down there and oh, chef's kiss. Let's go ahead and get the 45 adapter out of the way, shall we? This is used right here on the center spindle for playing your 45s. Those are the records with the big hole. And when you're not using it, there's a convenient little dimple right here in the corner to keep it out of the way. Next up, let's go ahead and install the head shell in cartridge. The LP3 includes the ATHS3, which comes pre-mounted with an AT91R cartridge and stylus. Basically the same thing as the 3600L, but made for low mass tone arms. To install, all you need to do is plug it right into the end here and screw the little collar down just till it's snug. Don't be He-Man here. Now that we've installed the head shell and cartridge, next up, we go to the other end, it's time for the counterweight. As you can see here, they have painted this white to match this beautiful white turntable. Also available in black, all black, except for the red. I don't know why I keep doing this this video. All you need to do is put the counterweight on the end of the tone arm and give it just a couple of spins to make sure that it's not going to pull off. Now that we installed the counterweight, it's time to balance the tone arm. First things first, we need to release it from its long held sleep with this here twist tie removal. And then also, they've protected the tone arm. So the first thing you want to do is actually remove the stylus guard because this is actually going to affect the weight when you're balancing the tone arm. Next, we're going to do what's called zeroing out the tone arm. You're going to find the point where it doesn't fall up or it doesn't fall down, where it just floats nice and level, uh, parallel above the platter here. So to get started, just kind of hold it above the platter and uh, make a few turns and check. And you, uh, you got to finesse this. And then when you release it, you should find something like this, where it's really kind of holding its own. And once you've done that, go ahead and return the arm to the cradle, and this scale moves independently of the weight itself. And you're going to go ahead and turn that scale so that the zero is aligned with the mark on the tone arm. From here, we're going to actually set the tracking force. The tracking force is how much pressure is being applied by the needle onto the record as it's spinning. If you look at the recommendations in this here manual, they're going to recommend anywhere from a gram and a half to two and a half grams. Me, I'm a 1.8 man. 1.8 grams that is. So you're going to hold the front and then follow the scale. Just turn this until the scale shows you that you are at 1.8 grams. The next thing to do is set your anti-skate, which is done with this little dial right here. Anti-skate is the resistance to skating, aka centrifugal force, that the needle naturally wants to run to the center as the record is playing. How do you know how to set it? Easy. Just follow what you did with your counterweight. So if you're setting it to 1.8, you want to set your anti-skate to 1.8 as well. So all you have to do is reach over, not as precise, but get it just before that two there, and that's all you need to do. Now that our counterweight and anti-skate are all set, let's turn our attention to the backside, shall we? The LP3 includes a built-in preamp, and we're going to show you how to operate that 
right here. You're gonna find two switches on the back, your preamp switch and then your switch for a moving magnet or a moving coil cartridge. We'll get into that in a second. First, the preamp. How do you know if you need a preamp? Do you have a receiver with a phono input? Do your powered speakers you're plugging this into have a phono input? You're gonna leave it on phono because you're using the external preamp. Don't have either one of those somewhere? Go ahead and switch that over to line and that's gonna activate the internal preamp so that you can actually hear the music that you wanna play. This switch here is your selection for moving magnet or moving coil cartridge. The majority of cartridges, including the one included on the LP3, is a moving magnet cartridge. Why you would put a moving coil on this cartridge, I have no idea. Moving coil cartridges are very expensive with very low output and honestly beyond this turntable. But Audio-Technica has included it anyway just in case you want to. For the purposes of this setup video, please make sure that you are on the moving magnet setting. Now let's turn our attention to the hardwired phono cable, aka RCA cable, aka interconnect, whatever you want to call it. We got the red and white. This is what you're going to use to connect to the back of your receiver or your powered speakers. Also includes a ground wire. This is important. Most receivers or powered speakers do include a terminal, which you will attach this to. If you don't have one, not a big deal. Just connect it to any metal screw on the back of your receiver or your powered speakers, and that is enough to ground the table. From there, all you need to do is go ahead and plug in this here power cord, which seems simple enough. I don't need to show you how to do that. Now it's dust cover time, baby. Just grab it here, nice and gentle. The hinges come pre-installed. All you need to do is line it up, give her a little wiggle down, and there you go. All right, let's get back to the front now, shall we? So the LP3 is a fully automatic turntable. This is the, the middle child between the LP60X, which is fully automatic, before you jump up to the LP120X, kind of the best of both worlds. You're gonna notice a couple buttons here. Over here on the left-hand side, you've got the speed selection, 33 or 45 RPM. How do you know which one you need? Most of your 12 inch records are 33, but check the label, it'll tell you. So you've got your buttons right here to both start and stop. And now it's time to choose a size, all right? Open it on up here and you've got two selections. You've got 12 inch or seven inch. What does this do? This tells the arm where to drop the needles. For a full size record, you wanna choose 12 inch, or if you're playing a 45, you wanna go ahead and select seven so the needle falls in the right place. Now let's turn our attention to the Q arm here, shall we? You can use the automatic function, or if you choose not to, or you wanna play just a specific track, this is a hydraulic lift that allows you to raise the arm up so you don't drop the needle across your record, select where you'd like to drop it, and then Q down to exactly the spot that you need. And that's it. You're ready to go. You can find the LP3 right here at Darkside Records, located at 611 Duchess Turnpike in Poughkeepsie, along with a full selection of other turntables from Audio-Technica, Rega, Project, and more. Don't forget to check us out on the web, darksideRecords.com. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, subscribe to our channel, and uh, let us know what you think of the LP3. Or if you have any questions, even if you didn't buy it from us, please leave a comment or feel free to give us a call. See you in the bins.